Buenos dias. I am Leo Dalmao, the Bishop Prelate of uh, Isabella de Basilan. I belong to the Congregation of Missionary Sons of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, also known as the Claritian Missionaries. I entered the congregation in 1986 and made my first profession in 1992. That makes uh, 35 years since my entry and uh, 29 years in religious life. I was ordained bishop and installed in the same ceremony as Bishop Prelate of Isabella on May 24, uh, 2019. What is significant in my missionary experience? Well, looking back on my 20 years as a religious missionary, I would say it's having been called to assignments, well, places and positions that, to say the least, were not of my own choosing. Never did these assignments occur to me even in my wildest dreams. I'd often struggled with feelings of inadequacy. First, of having to deal with my imperfections. And secondly, of not having been prepared for the assignments. But at the end of the day, I obeyed because I trusted the wisdom of my superiors. And I believed that God's hands were upon them. And so I accepted. I am basically a person who believes in giving my best to whatever I have committed myself to do. And this holds true even more in way that I approach all my assignments. You know, my first assignment was Basilan. Then later on, I was assigned to formation as formator to our theology students. Then a few years after, I was also moved to the novitiate. Then after that, I was elected as one of our consultors, provincial consultors, then as a provincial superior. Then the, again, I was surprised to be elected in the general government. Then after that, the Pope appointed me as bishop of the prelature of Isabella. All these were actually quite a surprise on my part. My memorable experiences are when I witness communities and people grow and be transformed to become better versions of themselves. I remember, for instance, the Bajaos in Maluso, Basilan. When I started my apostolate with this indigenous group in the late 90s, nobody was attending classes from the community. Going to school was quite a foreign concept to them. Besides, they were used to begging in the town proper as their means of survival. Then we started an adult education with this community, followed by other initiatives along the line of literacy. Then livelihood programs were later introduced. The change was quite slow, just really very slow. Yet after a couple of years, the young ones started to enroll with the support of their parents. They also stopped their reliance on begging. Today, there are already those who graduated from college and are working in different institutions. Individuals gradually changed and their community followed. That's good news. We have now new generations enrolled in different levels from elementary to college. As we celebrate 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, I thank God for the gift of vocation to religious life and for the opportunity to be of service not only to the church but also to the entire Basilan, where we are faced with diverse cultures and a challenging past. I pray that this celebration will strengthen our unity and commitment to heed the call to serve God in our unique capacities. Let us continue to share our time, talent, and treasure to all, especially those who are lost, last, and least. May our faith sustain us amidst uncertainties and doubts and may hope motivate us to move forward when we feel there's nothing more we can give. Thank you and God bless us all.